Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I am doing another whip and chat video. And if you guys are new to whip and chats, basically I am just working on my current work in progress on camera for you guys, which is Warm Witch by Ivy Dolamore and Diamond Art Club. And I'm on the home stretch of this painting. I just have the top row left to do. So I have a very strong suspicion that this painting will be done in the next couple days. So this will be the last whip and chat with this painting. So I figured we would do it on camera. Um, and if you guys want to um, diamond paint alongside me or just listen to this um, while you're doing other things, feel free. But yeah, we'll be working on Warm Witch today together and just talking about life, catching up on life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so um, I'll be working on these two sections right here, but um, I just want to show you the pen I am using is this Enablers Outpost pen. It's gorgeous and I am just using the Diamond Art Club Thin Metal Multiplacer, the Four Placer. I'm using Randa's Crafty Corner Putty in the placer and Glue Dots in my single placer. And um, the tray I'm using, I never talk about the tray because I'm very consistently just like using this one. This is the new trays that come with the Diamond Art Club kits. Um, they have Diamond Art Club right here on the side. Um, and they're super nice trays. They come in the newer kits that have the newer packaging. Um, this one is just, it's just so good. So, okay, let's go ahead and take off the release paper. I am combining these two um, sections on each, like, or yeah, these two sections on each one. Um, because honestly, like, it's this is like so much color blocking that like, I would just rather have this all be one. Um, and plus at this point, I'm kind of ready for this painting to be over. If I'm being honest, um, I get this way with all of my paintings. There comes a point where it's just like, I'm trying to get this like line up. I don't even know where I want it to line up, I guess here. Um, there comes a point with all my paintings that once I've been working on it for long enough, I am, kind of ready for it to be over so yeah okay I'm gonna just start out with the black and we will get to chatting well yeah this is like the last this was probably the last confetti heavy section of the painting now we kind of just have a bunch of color blocking which I'm looking forward to simply because it'll go really fast um I'm gonna focus on this painting for the next like at least today um for the next bit of time and just try to knock it out and finish it um not that you should rush your diamond paintings or anything but uh like i said i've had <laughs> this has had a place in my heart for the last few months and i am ready to finally kind of be done with it um but it has been very fun to work on and i've really enjoyed seeing her come together this color palette has always been a little bit um little too neutral for my for my liking um but I bought it you know because of the artwork and um obviously I did it so <laughs> um yeah so hi guys I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and a good beginning to their week I am filming this video on Sunday what are we on today Sunday August 18th um I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend uh, my my weekend was really good. Um, it's been honestly like really productive. It's been a very productive weekend. Um, Friday in particular, I didn't really do a whole lot. I yeah, mostly just sat around. I didn't go to my parents' house. I just kind of sat around. I might have diamond painted a little bit, um, but Friday night like mental health wise like wasn't the best. Um, so I stayed I stayed home, um, and. I guess just like relax. Honestly, it's kind of a blur. I don't exactly remember what I did. Um, but I mean, it was still, it was still, I guess, much needed nonetheless. Um, so that's what I did on Friday. Saturday was incredibly productive and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. Um, I, let's see. So yesterday was Saturday. I, went to oh, any favorite what color i want to do i guess i'm gonna do that down arrow um i went over to my parents house for lunch yesterday and my mom got us cousin subs if you guys don't know i talk about it a fair amount here on my channel um cousin subs is a really good wisconsin originated sub place uh someone left a comment on my video a few weeks ago when i talked about cousins and said that they were getting a location i believe in indy if i remember correctly it was indy um so it's like oh so they are kind of expanding outside the wisconsin um realm I guess 
Um, but no, it's one of my favorite sub shops. Um, it's very, very yummy. So we got that for lunch yesterday. And then I hung out with my dad for a little bit. We ended up going to the library, which is always a good time. Um, it's fun now that he's into reading. Um, he got into reading kind of like a month or two ago. It's fun because he wants to go to the library and we go together and that's fun. Um, but we went to the library yesterday and I ended up picking up one of my holds I had. It's uh, called Butchered and Butchered, Butchered, Butchered and Blackbird. I can't, I said it weird to my mom and she like made fun of me for it. And so now I'm like very self-conscious about the way I say it. Uh, but I don't remember who the author is, but it's basically a serial killer romance. And I read maybe like 40 pages of it last night. Uh, so far it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. So I'm excited to keep reading that one. Um, Oh my gosh, I don't know. I just heard like a gurgling noise and I have no idea what that was. Um, but I got that book from the library. I'm excited to keep reading it. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be interesting. Definitely an interesting one. I've never, never read a romance revolving around serial killers before. So the beginning of the book had just like a plethora of um, trigger warnings. So I guess just an FYI before, if you're interested in going into it, uh, definitely check out the trigger warnings because there are some definite crazy ones in there um, that I haven't even gotten to yet in the book, obviously, because I'm only like 40 pages in. Um, but some of them are crazy seeming, so yeah, I mean, I've heard good things about it, so I'm excited about it, and, um, yeah, so I went to the library, and then I came home, and, well, actually, I went to Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> went to Dunkin' Donuts and got a nice coffee, because I knew I needed to stay very much caffeinated, because yesterday I took on the exhilarating task of, uh, filming my diamond painting stash. You guys, that video will be coming out to you guys on Wednesday. Um, I'm really excited about it. It was a ton of fun to film, but there were a ton of hiccups that kind of got in the way. Um, but by the time, like, by the time the hiccups were really happening, I already had all of the kits laid out. I didn't want to, like, obviously stop filming. I wasn't going to give up, so <laughs> I just kept going. But, like, while I was filming, so I started out by, um by going through the kits I didn't have that many from the companies of. So like I started out by doing my one Oraloa kit and then I did my two like Jada Gem Shop and then my two Muni Made. And then when I was done with that, I'm like, oh, this isn't too bad. <laughs> and then I went ahead and uh, pulled out all my Dreamer designs. And I apparently have 30 Dreamer designs kits, which is a lot. Um, so that was, that was a, a task. Um, but that was not even the hard part. The hardest part was the Diamond Art Club part of the stash, which granted, I definitely knew that going in that that was going to be the hardest part. Um, but basically how I organized my craft room is I pulled out the boxes and I separated them by artist. Um, so I had like, you know, Ivy Dolamore in one pile. I had You May Art in another. Um, and then I made a pile specifically for my one-off artist. So like if I only had one piece of artwork by an artist, it would go in that pile, um, which I had quite a few of actually, which I think surprised me because I feel like I tend to very much like stick to like um, certain artists, but I guess that wasn't necessarily true. Um, so yeah, so my entire like um, craft room was just a mess. And at one point <clears throat> while I was filming the, um, the, the one-off kits, I, I think I made a pile maybe like too big or too tall. And so the paintings kind of toppled, <laughs> kind of toppled on each other and it interfered with like some of the other kits I had in piles. <laughs> so overall... It was just a very chaotic filming experience. Um, but by the end, by the end, it's like my brain kind of forgot what had happened. And I was like, wow, this was so much fun. Which like granted, it really was fun to film the video, but I will advise anybody out there who has a pretty decent sized stash um, and is trying to film a stash video that just keep in mind that like, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna be, um, I guess maybe you have a better method than I do. Um, I really thought my method was pretty good, um, but I feel like it's gonna be time consuming no matter what you do. Like, no matter how long you think it's gonna take, it's probably gonna take longer. <laughs> um, I was filming from like 
1 30 yesterday until like 5 30 now granted i did take a break um when did i take my break at like 3 30 ish maybe a little before 3 30 um i spent like probably 45 minutes to an hour um just pulling out all my diamond art club kits and organizing them by the artist that took a while um it, you know, the boxes are heavy. The boxes are really heavy. I have a stash of a lot of bigger paintings, so that's where my trouble came in. Maybe if you have a lot of, like, smaller paintings, it wouldn't be as daunting, but yeah, that was, that was a time, and like I said, I took a break, um, a Taylor Swift break, if you will, um, which I <laughs> will touch on Taylor in this whipping chat here in a bit, um, but I don't know where I was going with that, but all that to say that I did film my stash video this weekend, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that video on Wednesday. It's already scheduled. It's going to go up on Wednesday. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm kind of annoyed with the thumbnail of it. I don't love how I made the thumbnail, so I'm gonna maybe try to, like, fix that if I can at some point. I really don't like the thumbnail. I don't know what it is. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, I know I can easily just go ahead and update that, but I feel like by the time I really thought about a thumbnail, I had already, like, reorganized my closet, and I don't want to pull any kits back out, um, so we'll, we'll see what ends up happening with the thumbnail. I mean, it's not, like, a bad thumbnail right now, but it's, like, not the best it could be. I'm so picky with my thumbnails. I really like them to be very, very eye-catching, and I'm afraid if they're not eye-catching, then, like, you know, people, well, at least eye-catching to me. I feel like people aren't going to want to click on the video since, you know, that's important. Thumbnails are very important. When I'm watching YouTube videos, at least, I find that a very important thing. If you have a bad thumbnail, I'm sorry, I'm probably not watching your video. That's not even meant to be mean. I just think that's what a lot of people do because visuals are everything. Um, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't know how the thumbnail is, uh, what I'm gonna do with that, but I filmed my stash video. That was a, uh, that was a time, and also it was quite a humbling experience, if I'm being honest. Um, like, I knew the amount of kits I had in my stash, and, like, I have them all in Gems Flow. Um, I look through it pretty much, like, all the time. I love looking through my Gems Flow. Um, but honestly, like, pulling them all out, especially all of the Diamond Art Clubs, actually, even seeing all of the Dreamer designs at once, seeing 30 Dreamer designs all at once, and yeah, seeing all the Diamond Art Club, really, truly humbling, and just kind of, like, really puts into perspective just, like, how quickly a stash can really build up, I guess, without realizing. Um, and in no way am I... I guess like complaining about the amount of kits I have. I am really grateful that I'm able to collect the way I do. Um, very, very grateful for that. But it is really humbling to kind of see everything all at once. Um, so yeah, that was <laughs> that was my my Saturday adventure. By the time I was done filming, I had had dinner, I showered, and oof, was I exhausted. That was honestly like my workout for the day. <laughs> it really was like a workout to get those kits like put where I needed to to film, and then I like reorganized the closet while I was at it. Um, it was just, it was a lot yesterday. So I didn't even diamond paint yesterday, which was actually really crazy. Um, I thought about diamond painting yesterday, but I was just way too tired, so I didn't end up diamond painting. Also, like, all these drills are, like, sticking in the tray, so I'm having to, like, put my finger into the tray and, like, get them out that way. Um, wonder why, wonder why this is being so fussy today. Um, but, oh, okay, ooh, yeah, no, I know what color I want to do. So yeah, that was that was my Saturday. It was it was very productive. It was very productive. I think I went to bed pretty early. Like I think I went to bed at like 10 30 or 11, which like isn't no, oh, I dropped a drill right here. It's not like that's early, early. Um however, I feel like for a Saturday night that's pretty early. And I definitely like wanted to diamond paint last night and just did not have the the mental energy to do so. Um so I went to bed instead which is probably for the best. Well, see, a lot of the drills are like sticking in like lines on my tray and I don't know if maybe it's a static thing, but why do I feel like that only happens when I film? <laughs> oh, what color do I want to do? Okay, so now we're hitting a point that it's a lot of like line blocking. Hmm, actually maybe I'll do the white first. 
because there's not as much white then I can fill in that little bit of white right there you guys can't really even see what I'm talking about but I'm mostly just talking to myself um, but yeah, that was yesterday, and then today I went over to my parents again for lunch. Yes, I'm over there a lot. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's all good. Um, my mom ended up making us eggs for lunch, so that was really good, and actually I decided today to make, so I made an egg sandwich, and on it I put, um, it, there were cheese in the eggs, and then I put bacon on the sandwich, and I put buffalo sauce, like a mild buffalo sauce from Kroger, um, and I put, um, ranch on it. It was so good. 10 out of 10 recommend putting buffalo sauce on your eggs if you've never done that. Um, it was a very good, yummy experience. <laughs> Definitely recommend. Um, I don't know why I've never thought about that combo before, but I really love, I love buffalo sauce. So <laughs> that was a really good combo. Um, so I did that today, I went to my parents' house for lunch, and then I came home, and then I actually did a little bit of cleaning around my apartment, nothing crazy, um, but I wanted to stay on top of my cleaning, because usually I'm not very on top of my cleaning, I feel like my placement's awful, um, I'm, I'm, I really try to stay on top of it, but sometimes I just don't, so um, I tried to do like a little bit today, so that way it wasn't, you know, wouldn't be terrible later on. So I cleaned a little bit. Um, I did diamond paint a fair amount today. Um, I finished editing the stash video and scheduled that to go up. Um, my dad actually came over because I was hoping maybe he could help fix my office chair. If you guys um, don't know, I talked about this in my um, last week, I think whip and chat. My office chair for some reason like just recently started like so basically you like pump up the office chair so you have it at a higher like height and um, whenever I'd sit in it it would just like slowly start like falling down pushing down or whatever um, and I was so confused why that was happening and so my dad actually came over this afternoon to take a look at it and I think we might have figured out the cause of it apparently there's like a setting on the like little pumpy thing <laughs> that's like a, a lock and a free setting and maybe I accidentally freed it instead of having it kept on lock like I think I've had it before and I've been filming for 17 minutes so far and my chair has not um, gone crazy so Oh my gosh, I feel like my placement is so bad because of these guide circles. <laughs> um, but no, my chair seems to be working just fine now, so I am grateful that he was able to fix it. Because honestly, re-pumping up my chair every two minutes was very, um, very ineffective. <laughs> it was irritating. And I didn't want to buy a new office chair because that's expensive. So, did not want to do that, but I'm glad, glad that's fixed. Um, and then here I am filming. It's very er not very early in the day still. It's four o'clock, which is early-ish. It's not like it's, you know, eight or nine. So I thought I would go ahead and get this video filmed for you guys now. So that way I can just go ahead and get it up and not have to worry about it for the rest of the day or for the rest of the evening because uh, I imagine in the next hour or two the Sunday Scaries will kick in, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, what color, what color, what color? Hmm, this is a little more tricky because I guess maybe I'll go like left to right. You guys can't really see, but like maybe I'll go because there are a few colors that this like, this like back wall here is like, this wood is colored with. And so my thought is to just go like left to right and do whatever color I guess pops up but you know what I think I'm gonna do first actually is the little this symbol right here you guys you guys can't even really see it <laughs> but I am just talking to myself anyways I'm gonna do this first and then I'll should do that method but anyways yeah that that's kind of what I've been up to this weekend otherwise you know it's been it's been a pretty I was gonna say chill weekend but it really hasn't been um it's been a good weekend I am definitely sad to see it come to a close here in the next you know <laughs> a few hours but huh, it is what it is um I <laughs> I watched part of the Taylor Swift concert yesterday um and on, on live stream and uh, if, you, if you guys are not aware, she is doing her Eras tour. She is in London right now. She is doing uh, nine total nights. Is it nine or eight total nights in London? It must be, it must be eight. Is it eight? Is it nine? Hold on. I'm gonna check the app because I don't, I don't want to say wrong. Mostly because I just don't know. Swift alert. Um, 
oh seven and eight yeah i think eight nights in london um and so yesterday was night six she did the first three nights um in june in london and now she is doing uh the final what is that well see that's oh yeah five the final five shows <laughs> um and it's i feel like it's really hard to explain if you're not like in the swifty like universe necessarily um but basically she does surprise songs every night and um there has been one song from reputation that she has not sung yet um until yesterday and people were thinking that this song particularly would be sung the night she announces reputation taylor's version um which did not happen but she sang the song yesterday it was i did something bad <laughs> <laughs> um, and people are still thinking that Reputation Taylor's version is going to be announced on Tuesday at Tuesday's show. Um, and so that'll definitely be very interesting to see how that plays out, if that's a thing. Reputation is not personally my favorite album by her. It, it doesn't even really hit the top for me. Um, but I do know that it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, I'm definitely more excited for debut Taylor's version rather than Reputation, but I will eat up whatever. I think the vault tracks are probably going to be really good on this album. So I'm excited about that. I'm actually gonna, I want to move this the release paper also. I don't love, I don't love the spot where it's at. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get, I, I think I had actually mentioned this in a different video is that I really think Reputation will be announced at at London night, what is that, eight? Um, I really do think that's when it's gonna be announced. So we're, we're getting to that point. I mean, that's in two days, that's in two days. Um, I'm really excited though. I'm excited to see if it's gonna happen and see if uh, that's gonna be a thing. So, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I guess we're just gonna start going left to right. Um, but yeah, that is kind of my like personal life update. Um, diamond painting related stuff. I don't have a lot. I know I touched on the, the stash video a little bit. Um, but I did not purchase from Diamond Art Club this weekend, which I'm pretty proud of myself for. Um, I definitely have been purchasing a lot lately. Um, so I'm glad there was kind of a week of having a breather from buying. Um, I did put two of them on my wish list. I put that bottled Halloween one. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but the one with the bottle and the, um, and like the, like there was a ghost and it was just, it was really pretty. Um, I put that one on my wish list. Um, maybe at some point if something comes back in stock that I want or, you know, next week maybe I'll grab it. Um, and then I also put, there was like, and I still don't remember the name of the painting. <laughs> Uh, it's a girl. It's a portrait. It she has like there's like a purple background behind her. It's really pretty It was like the first preview last week. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, man But I did put that one on my wish list as well um, So a couple wish listed this weekend, but I did not purchase which I'm very proud of myself for Because I don't need to purchase every single weekend Especially after the events of my diamond painting stash and just simply realizing I have too many diamond paintings <laughs> um one simply cannot have too many diamond paintings however however when your closet officially runs out of space that's when you know that's when you know that it might be time to actually work on them and stop buying them <laughs> um so yeah didn't purchase anything this weekend which is great um videos for this week i am thinking um I don't know why I'm saying I'm thinking. I literally told you guys what I'm doing this week. Um, let's see. On Monday today, you guys are seeing the whipping chat. Um, Wednesday will be the stash video. If I finish this kit in like the next couple days, maybe expect a post review then. Um, otherwise, I'm not rushing to get a post review done of this. Um, just kind of whenever I have time. Um, because I am not in any rush necessarily at the moment to kit up my next round painting. Um, my next round painting is going to be Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D. It's also going to be my Drills and Chills canvas. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, my friend Katie and my friend Lindsay over at Diamonds and Washi, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, um, they are hosting um, an event called Drills and Chills, and um, basically it's like a Halloween event. Um, I don't plan on like participating for any prizes or anything but I figured I would kind of play along and like wait to put down any drills until September 1st um and that is the painting I chose for it since timing wise it worked out to have a round painting going for that 
so um yeah I decided to I guess pick out that painting I don't know where I was there had got to have been a better statement that I was going to try to go toward um <laughs> I think I was just saying that I, I will get a post review of this kit up at some point. I do want to try to finish this one and then for the rest of August focus on my square paintings um, since I really, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I've been neglecting specifically Little Lizard Garden. I finished the top or the bottom row of it and then I just haven't done anything since and I'm a little bit sad about it so I definitely want to give that one some love because it's gorgeous and it's a landscape. It needs a lot of love. Um, so that's the plan on that um there was something else I wanted to say um oh yeah and I guess the vlog on Friday um I have not started the vlog yet but I'm actually thinking so Diamond Art Club did not do any previews today so I don't think there's going to be a, a Monday release I think I'm still going to start the vlog off today simply because I want to clown on, on the vlog for, for Reputation Taylor's version um I I just like I don't know what it is, but I feel like I want to like make a statement on Sunday and be like, I think Reputation Taylor's version is going to be announced on Tuesday and then we can follow along in the week and see if that actually happens. Um, which I know is not diamond painting related, but I feel like with those vlogs, I feel like you guys get kind of my entire life too with, um, with vlog stuff, like diamond painting stuff in there as well. So that's kind of my plan. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy like the random parts of the vlogs that are like not diamond painting related so anyways I think I'm just gonna finish this little this little section up and then I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog um not vlog what am I saying this whip and chat <laughs> I was just talking about the vlogs um also it's like really hard to multi-place on tr like on you know like correctly apparently on camera I'm just having the hardest time getting these placed in the right spot the guide circles really I don't like the guide circles I'm so glad they moved away from the guide circles um they're just they're kind of in they're they're not great they're just in the way <laughs> um okay you know what that's where we're this is where we're ending um I got a little bit done I'm hoping tonight to just sit down listen to my audiobook get more of this done or watch some YouTube and get more of this done um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.